Hi, this is Jonathan from Barn2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customer or client portal for your website. In other words, a private specific area of your website where you can share files and documents, offer downloads, post news and updates, but only to those clients and customers who you want to have access to it. You can set up private protected areas for specific types of clients, or even individual private areas for individual clients. For example, to display the photos from a wedding shoot. All we need to do is create categories and maybe subcategories for the content we want to protect and then use the plugin to restrict the access to those categories to only those clients with the correct password. No need to create separate user accounts for each client. Just give them a password and they can access the relevant content straight away. To create our secure, protected categories within a WordPress website quickly and easily, we're going to use the Password Protected Categories plugin from Barn2. So let's start by installing the plugin. A link to download the plugin is in the description below. And to install it, you just need to go to your admin, to plugins, click on add new, upload plugin, choose the zip file you downloaded, and then once uploaded, activate it and click on settings. Once in settings, just enter your license key, activate, and we're good to go. Within settings here, you have the option to show any protected categories in menus and widgets here. And for my example, I'm just gonna turn this feature off and you need to save any changes at the bottom of the page here. Now that we have the plugin installed, I can edit or create a new post and add it to a category that I can protect with the plugin so that only those with the password can see it. So here's an example post with a photograph I want to share with specific clients so only they can download it. So first of all, I'm gonna create a new category by going to posts here in the admin, come down to categories, and then I'll give my new category a name and I'm just gonna call it free stock photos to download. And then at the bottom here, we now have a new section installed by the plugin called Visibility. And it's where I can either keep the post public so everyone can see it, private, or I can protect it with a password. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll enter a password here, and I'll just use something, for an example, stock123. Now, you can create multiple passwords as well with the plus sign. So you can give different clients different passwords to access the same client area. This makes your client area more secure and allows you to revoke a specific client's access without affecting other clients. And that's really handy. And within categories, if you create any subcategories, they will automatically inherit the same protection and passwords as the parent category. Or you can just create new ones. Now, back in my post, I'm going to edit it and add it to my new protected category here. Update my post. Now, if I refresh this post, there, I'm now prompted to enter the password to gain access. It's really simple and really easy to set up. If you want to add pages as opposed to posts as well to categories, then you'll find a link in the description below to a written tutorial explaining how to do just that. So how do we show our clients how to access these protected areas of the website? Well, you can signpost your clients to a protected category or post by just sending them the URL to that category or post so they can then enter their password. But what you can also do with a plugin is create a centralized front-end login where clients and customers can enter their password and unlock access to their protected content. To do this, all I need to do is create a new page here in the admin. And then I'll just add the short code square bracket category underscore login, close my square brackets. And if I publish my page and view the page, there's the login. Now, if I enter my password, there, we now have access to the protected content related to that password. We can also change how this login page looks by going back to our plugin settings. And we can change the title, form message, password label, placeholder, and button text for the form. And just remember to save any changes at the bottom of the page. 
And that's it. You can also pair your client portal up with additional WordPress plugins and add-ons to leverage advanced functionality. For example, you could set up systems for invoicing, file uploads, and file sharing. Once you've set up your overall structure of the WordPress client portal with categories and subcategories, all you need to do is add all the information. And in terms of displaying lots of information, one thing to consider trying is the Post Table Pro plugin from Barn2. So you can list the contents of your client portal categories dynamically in easy to navigate searchable tables with filters. Just like in this example here, it provides a much easier way for clients to quickly find that information they're looking for. So that's been a look at the password protected categories plugin from Barn2. Details of how to download the plugin, as well as the Post Table Pro plugin, are in the description below, along with a link to a detailed written tutorial. Thanks for watching.